Hello everyone. In my recent video, I covered Gen2 text to video and image to video. However, Gen2 only support 4 second long video. Today, I will reveal a technique to create longer video by extracting frame from previous one. So stick till the end. Let's dive in. If you haven't seen my previous video, you can find the link in the top corner. In my previous Gen2 video, I showed you how you can convert image to video without any prompt, which is the best way to create video right now. So this was the video which was generated using that image, right? But this video is just 4 seconds long. What if we want to create a video which is longer like 8 seconds, 12 seconds or maybe 16 seconds using the same image and continuation of this video. So we need to follow some process and the process goes something like this. So we will be taking the initial video. We will extract the last frame from the video and we will use the last frame as the input for the next video. With this, we will be able to generate longer video. Let's see how it works. So as a part of next step, we will first go ahead and download this video. Once we have this video, we will go ahead and extract the frame out of this video. To extract the frame, we will be using this easyzif.com. Under video to GIF option, you have this video to JPG and we'll be using this. So let's go ahead and upload the file. So I have uploaded the file over here. Once file is uploaded, you have this option start to end time and then frame rate per second is 10. So let's go ahead and convert to JPG and you'll find that there will be total 40 images generated for each frame. Okay, so let's go to the bottom and we have this is as a last frame. So what we'll do is we can download this, but I'll go ahead and download the entire frame and this will give us the GIF format. Once we have unzipped it, we will have this 40 frames as I said. So we'll be using this frame as an input. But before using this as input, I want to clean this image a little bit. To clean the image, I'll be using this tool from Clip Drop Go that is cleanup option. Inside this, we can go ahead and drop our 40th frame. And I would like to clean this watermark of runway. So let's go ahead and clean this over here and click on clean and download this file. Once we download this file, we will have something like this and we can use this now. So let's upload our photo over here. So the 40th frame we'll be using. So this is the one. So let it get uploaded. Once we have the file uploaded, you'll be able to see it over here. We are not going to give any prompt. So let's just go ahead and click on generate. Let's have a look at the result. Uh, it works really fine. Uh, so this is the result which we have got. Again, we have four second video and the starting frame is the end frame of the last video. So let me combine these two and show you how it actually looks. So this is our 8 second clip combining both the video which looks like one single video of 8 second. This is cool, isn't it? So let's try for another image. So this is one of the image which I created using SD Excel in Playground AI. So I'll be using this to create first video and, and then I will try to extend it to 8 second. Let's see if it works or not. So I'll go ahead and go to image to video upload let's click on generate video and let's see what kind of video it will generate and then we will try to extend it further let's have a look at the result so this looks really nice uh, the composition is really great to save your and my time what i have done is i have extracted the frame out of this and i have cleaned as well so now this is our last frame from the first video and we will use this to create next set of video let's try that next we will go ahead and Upload the last frame of our card video, which is this one. Let it get uploaded and then we will use this for our next set of video. So it is uploaded. Let's go ahead and click on generate and hopefully it will make a video which will be a continuation of our previous one. Let's see. So let's have a look at the result here. Uh, so it has created this further extension of the video and it looks really nice. Sometimes it does create wrong uh, movement. So let me show you the example. So in this first uh, generation, right? In this, the card was actually going back, which was not correct. So I regenerated the video and this time it works perfectly fine. So let me combine this two video and show you how it looks. This is another eight second clip after combining both the video. And I must say it looks really nice. You can try this. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. Share with your friends. Before I end this video, I would love to have you all join me on Twitter. There I share fascinating AI art prompt and AI related post. See you all there. The Twitter link is in the pinned comment. Thank you.